Okay, uh, in this tutorial, I'll explain about how to uh, make a shading device like this uh, using Grasshopper and especially Morph 2D uh, component. So this one is the, our final result showing the shadow device. And then actually, I will uh, restart from scratch. Okay, so I will delete everything. Then uh, the water process is using a curve and using divide surface and then using Morph 2D. Then we'll generate a pattern and then you're going to use scale to reduce down its size. So okay, I'll restart from scratch. Okay, so first of all, I will start a boundary uh, surface, which is I'm uh, using using a uh, rectangular plane uh, from zero. Uh, our dimension is 32 inch by 36 inch. And then we are going to use very uh, simple curve like this. So uh, first of all, uh, I will connect them uh, so we, we can use them inside uh, Grasshopper. So I just simply I'll double click and button on canvas and I use the surface. And then I connect, I will set one surface for the surface one component and I also uh, use curve parameter and I will set one curve from here. Okay, so and then actually I will uh, divide those sur uh, divide the surface using divide the surface and I simply connect it. So default uh, value for V U and V is now 10. If you want to change that, just simply use it. Uh, you can just use slide number. And if you connect them, you can actually change the size of grid number. And after I create a grid, uh, points grid, I'm going to use Morph2D. And I'll connect points grid to grid input and I'll use the curve to our pattern curve so this is what we need to point so if you see this and then actually you will see that, that this pattern is applied to our grid point and then actually this one is actually if you use it for uh, laser cutting actually everything will be part away so I will reduce down the size of this each uh, shape using scale so here is uh, scale And I'll connect uh, these curves into geometry. And then we also need to calculate the center of each shape. So I'm going to use area component. And I connect curve to geometry and center to center. And then to control the size of shape, uh, I just simply using a number slider. And if you use it, then actually you can uh, control the size of shape, or shape like this. So, and then after baking it, uh, you can use this one for laser cutting or 3D printing. Uh, if you want to use a laser cutter, just simply, uh, I will also draw the boundary curve. And then I just simply uh, move it away. And then you can use uh, this file for laser cutting. And if you want to use 3D printer, just simply select it and I will just simply extrude curve. And make sure that your solid is yes. And actually, uh, if you, I kind of make it a little thicker. And actually, you can 3D print this one. Let's take a look at this in different rendering. So this will be your uh, simple shading device. Okay, thank you.